Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your prop stream and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you skip trace leads in prop stream? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to skip trace leads in prop stream anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online real estate business, maybe wholesaling, you know that sometimes you find a property that you want to give a call right away. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your prop stream account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my prop stream account. Now, in order to skip trace on prop stream, you do have to build your list first. So I'm not going to go into details on what I use to build a list. I'll just do a quick rundown. First, you want to go ahead and choose the area. Okay. I went ahead and chose a zip code and I'm going to go ahead and filter this down. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just trim this down a little bit. Okay. So I went ahead and built my list Then I'm going to skip trace on prop stream. So first, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and check this box right here. If you need help building a list, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. However, in order to skip trace this list, we need to add these properties to a list. So I'm going to click right here, add to list. Once you do that, you can go ahead and add it to an existing list, or you can go ahead and create a new. So I'm going to go ahead and create new and let me go ahead and just name this list. Okay. I named it YouTube skip trace list. I'm going to click on save. Okay. Now we have created the list that we're going to skip trace. So let me close this out. Okay. Now that we've created our list, we need to go and jump on over to that list. So what you want to do is go ahead and click here on the left. You're going to see these three little houses. Go ahead and click on there. Okay. Once you clicked in there, you're going to see your marketing list. These are the lists that you've put together. So you want to scroll down until you find the list that you just created. So here is our list right here. YouTube skip trace list. Okay. Now we have confirmed that list was saved. So now in order to skip trace here on the left, you want to click on this little magnifying glass looking button right here on the left. Okay. So here is where you can go ahead and skip trace your leads inside of prop stream. You can see at the time of the recording of this video, it's going to be 12 cents for skip trace. And what's going to happen is once the skip tracing is processed, you're going to be billed this 12 cents per lead on the credit card that you have on file with prop stream. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on select contacts. Okay guys. So what we're going to do here now is here on the top available contacts, you're going to click on this list and then you're going to go ahead and choose the list that we had just built. So right down here at the bottom, YouTube skip trace list. Okay. Once we have done that, you're going to see this little blue button pop up right here, add selected contacts. So you can go ahead and add them all. Or if you need to remove some of them, you can just easily uncheck it right here on the left. For me, I'm going to go ahead and add all of them and then click on add selected contacts. Okay. Now you can see the names have dropped down here and what you're going to do is go ahead and check all and then click on done down here on the bottom, right? Okay. Now this page refreshes. Now you can see we've added two contacts selected right here. So now we're ready to go ahead and skip trace. So here at the bottom, you want to click on this blue next button. Okay. Now this confirmation screen pops up. So you want to go ahead and review it. So it looks like I'm going to be billed 24 cents for two contact. It also lets me know the card that's going to be billed and then my credit card details right here. So if all that looks good to you and you'd still like to go ahead and skip trace these leads in prop stream, click on this blue place order button here at the bottom. Okay. Next, you're going to get this do not call national registry certification, basically letting you know that the skip trace information that you pull is your responsibility to check it against the do not call list. So go ahead and click on I accept. Okay. Next, it lets you know it's in process. So they're going to send an email once the list is ready and it has been skip traced. So let me go ahead and click on, okay. All right. Let me go ahead and click on done. Okay. Now it brings me back here. So they do let you know, it could take about a few minutes for you to receive that email. In my experience, it usually goes through almost immediately. And how you check that is here on the left, you're going to see this little person icon, go ahead and click on there. Okay. Here you're going to see all of your contacts or your leads that you've pulled in prop stream. But down here at the bottom, you're going to see this line right here, skip tracing. And you can see this is the list that we just skip trace. Go ahead and click on there. Okay. Once you click in there, you're going to see the skip trace information. So as you can see for this particular lead right here, they pulled four phone numbers. Uh, and the nice thing is that they do notify if they have the information, if the number is on DNC, but you definitely want to go ahead and verify that before you start calling. Also, they do pull emails for these leads as well that were skip traced. For each property, it pulled four different emails. So if you're doing an email campaign and then right here at the top, you can see that it popped up as complete. So now my skip trace on prop stream has now been completed. So if you need to export this, you can go ahead and click right here on the top and then check all the boxes next to the names. And then you can go ahead and click right here on actions and export. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to skip trace your leads in prop stream, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.